Marshall to 10. With a turnover, it's Butler the other way from behind. He had a couple of shots, swiping at the ball. But he... White will curl into the paint. What I like here in this first quarter, he already has five free throw attempts. Caleb Martin with a three. He's out of here in this first quarter. Back in the game for the Heat. One of the biggest legendary, Jimmy Butler, the greatest player from the NBA on his total career history, plays for every other team in the playoffs and for his better careering of his new heights in the All-Star game. But now, his next victim is the Celtics, Jason Tatum. It's all what happens with the Eastern Conference showdown. He never wants to give up. The better fight, the better win. It's all what happens for Jimmy Butler. His new setup goal is to defend it, but how is he all entering his better defensive set? That's the question. They're looking all everywhere trying to find the right moment. The better type, the better moment of Jimmy Butler over the Celtics. Now, Jason Tatum is ready to match things up. Has a lot of things to say for of how he can handle it. I haven't played basketball. In, in, in so long and I'm so passionate and I love the game and I don't do it for any other reason except for to compete and go up against the best to try to prove that I can hang so all my emotion came out at one time was it the right way to do it no but I can't control that when I'm out there competing like that's my love of the game that's raw me me at my finest me at my purest that's what you're gonna get I'm not gonna take it offense it's not personal Jimmy you shouldn't have done that yeah, you, you're probably right. I would have said, I ain't hooped in I don't know how long. I mean, I'm passionate about it. I love the game and I love the win. And that's all I was out there doing was competing, playing hard. Now he has a choice. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, dynamic duos of the Boston Celtics. From Al Horford, from other players of each teams, is a hard must. The contest is everywhere in between. You can definitely know that, that this is the toughest team ever. The better rebounding, it's a better dynamic news. Each competition, showdown is a must. They don't want to go home, right? Those NBA players, they're extremely good. This is a playoff. Uh, so that, that game is the toughest. Uh, it's the most fun, too. Hey, we, we missed bunnies all night. Uh, you know, I knew we were due for one, so that was a big time shot. You know, I feel comfortable doing it, but I think, uh, you know, for myself and for the team, everybody, you know, being open minded and, and willing to, uh, you know, check off all the boxes, I think that's special. Um, and, you know, nobody, you know, from top to bottom, everybody's willing to do that. So, um, you know, I think that's special to, that we have a group like that. I mean, you know, through my, throughout my career, I've been a part of some uh, big games, regular season, um, postseason. I've been a part of some tough losses. Um, so I think, you know, thus far, I understand right how to stay level-headed um, through the good times and the bad, you know, regular season and postseason. Um, but the snow didn't help me. I'm not a fan of the snow. But it's a hard matchup right in between the alley. You know, Derek White, but definitely on the occasion of Caleb Martin, it's a hard one to take over from a shot. But the better angle is, it's a hard drive. It can never be slowing down right to those two. Sometimes, Al Horford, the better message for the legendary player, has a big world to make a news out of from Jason Tatum. Somebody like Al, Al is willing to do everything, and somebody at this at that stage of his career, um, I think that really sets the tone. And you know, the rest, rest of the guys kind of follow that. The bigger message is that it has to be with the Celtics and the Heat. It's a battle take on in between the Eastern Conference showdown. Since 2020 was the last one in the pandemic, then it happened again in 2022 that the Celtics beat over the Heat in the number one spot. 
but it was no joke. The easier way it happens with in between the back-to-back -back scores happened to be a lot harder than they think. They have no way that they can try to protect him from in between. And for the last postseason with the upset against the Celtics. But there might be another way to keep that going. Of course, we miss Marcus Smart and the other side with Robert Williams. But the great thing is, the new substitution for recruiters are coming in to help them out. With Drew Holiday in point guard and Kristaps Porzingis from the Washington Wizards. They are happy enough to help them out and definitely play on court with each other. So whenever you're thinking about how to beat around the point, when I ask you, is this water? And you say, well, it's not through punch. Like, well, obviously, but you know that the answer is water. And that's what always going on. Back-to-back -back scores, not a possible chance. He said, we can't let our shot making affect our physicality and our defensive effort. Against the zone, we have to make quicker passes and be better specifically against the switches, guys. My teammates, they need me to be that way right now. I will continue to be that way right now. Um, whatever it takes to win, it could be 40, it could be 50, it could be zero and 12 assists. I got to be able to do it all. I'm going to play with my daughter, man. I love her to death. I miss her. I've been away for a very long time. We're going to get ice cream. We're going to the park. We're doing a lot of different stuff. This is where it's going to happen. There will be a bigger difference in between the range of Jason Tatum and Jimmy Butler. No contest, no takes, and this is a hard matches. Whoever gets to the finals, it's going to be on the 101 in between the zones of the top players of a legendary. And this is no joke, because if they do, they're going to get this one done straight and go with the victory plan. That's the hard key. For the White Heat playoffs, they have been good doing a lot of blocks in between the other teams, but not for long as Derek White able to answer it in Game 6 last postseason. It was no joke that this was a close call range in the backcourt and count the bucket in. But hey, it's going to be a great matchup between Boston and Miami, White Heat playoff and Bleed Green playoffs. This is going to be a one biggest show that you will ever see between the two. Heat Celtics next on 2K Sports. Hey everyone, it's Roy Cruz and I am here with my next broadcasting partner with Son of Beast. And this time it's about to gut things down and we are ready to send you down to Miami at the Kaseya Center. The next commentary I have is Mifun and he's also along with Boomer and across is Tyler Beast. The center of the court side will be out of the force or David Aldrich. At this point of the game, and this is now a great extension for Boston Celtics to keep an eye on it right away. So it's now time to see who can take the next win. Will it be the Celtics again? 
or Miami Heat on the board. Let the games begin at Kaseya Center in Miami, and we'll see you all later for the post-game show. Let's be let the games begin for the Eastern Conference Finals as it continues now. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the Conference Finals. And it's a great matchup to have a look at here in the pregame show as we're ready to step into the locker room. With me and David Aldridge ready to get this thing going. Greetings now at Miami and we are ready to start the third game of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. I'm Mepho and I am here with Boomer and Tyler. David Aldridge on the center court. Our matchup is we're ready to see what's going on here. Key matchup between Derek White and T Tyler Hero. Jalen Brown on Jimmy Butler. Across on the other side is Jason Tatum. He's with on High Road Highsmith. And center is Chris Ed Porzingis and Bam Adebayo. And in the point guard position, Terry Rozier the third. He is on the other player of Drew Holiday. In between Joe Mazzula and Eric Spolstra, the head coach of the matchup. It's going to be a great game this far, so let's see who can take it first. And a win for today for Boston. We start things underway. Here we go. Derek White starts takes up here from the top. With a screen on Jason Tatum. This one just spins it around here for the two. This one will drop it in for Jared Derek White. That's his first bucket in his appearances. You know, happen to be playing in one of the most like, dominant professional ever. DW is one of our biggest ones to take out in for the games. This ever happens because of everybody has been playing it like that. And they have no other ways to get this thing through. I have a lot of them, but they're going through, and I think there is another way to keep it on. Now here with a step of two, what a great shot! He makes a bucket! That's a first bucket for the Heat! Just played it so well, now Tyler Hero just gonna have to leave and step onto it. All still on my ice man! Here's Rozier! The finish around Tina! And it's good! Harry Rozier with his first bucket! After a game with high spin with the assist. And True Holidays right toward the corner and wait. Looking around, he finds White. The pass to Tatum for a deep three. That one's off the target. Bam on a high with the rebound as it began to Tyler Hero. Hero gives the back step over again to Adebayo. The pass over to Heisman. Looks it over. Ushia trying to cut in for number two. Takes it in. That's another fucking for Miami. Rozier has the second bucket of the night. When playing it from happens here, Terry Rozier the third. After playing here for the Toronto Hornets, he had nothing to do with anybody. He has a lot of them with this quote that he has been coming for. The better age of my life, I have no other confidence in what my feeling is. No, he doesn't mean to anybody but has all of it down. You know, you can definitely tell them why it isn't that really real, but that has to be what they are expecting for. And they don't play it with the same way that they do so. Yeah, on the with the layup. That one's an hour D on Chris Aprozingas. Now it's Holiday with the ball. He finds Graylin Brown. Back to Holiday. On the cut. They give off to KP. The shot stop. And it's rebounded by Butler. Butler with his first rebound of the night. Now he has to begin to Terry Ruggier. Looking on two. This one misses the target. Better way to not have to see Terry Ruggier. I'm just trying to make another bucket to make it go. The pass to KP. On the shot, foul, bucket one. Jack goes with KP with his first bucket. And a foul will start for Miami Heat. That will be Jimmy Butler with his first personal foul with 5.32 to go. You don't have to believe on that one here for KP. When this one makes a layup, this one doesn't really take it over. That's going to be a hard takeoff. You're never going to make it succeedable in there. And that's what happens now. I was always saying that KP is really trying to get right into it. I mean, you've got to get over this, and you've got to play it when you were expecting to. I was really noticing what was going to happen, but that didn't really change at all. The free throw will sink in. They keep going right in the extension, looking for a way to Highsmith. 
Their next team, they're in a seventh seed, looking to see if they can get their upset in for the third game straight in a row. He's over down to Butler. Butler over White. With the cut, makes it in. He has his first bucket. It's an 8 5 game. Just played it so well as you can get into Hayward Highsmith. That's what I was saying. But Jimmy Butler has that score really well. And you can make that one happen. Well, right toward the wing. Under five minutes, KP up, a two-pointer rolls in and out. KP up, the layup misses. The rebound puts in for Jimmy Butler, back to Adebayo. Scoring and bearing happening before. I would say for that for Ziggis, he only had three. The better one to make a bucket and drive, that has to be what they were expecting to play for. And they are just really letting the go be. They really got to make sure when they got to keep it going. And they really are making that sort of loud change off. But the better way it ain't happening. I know it's not really the easier way to do it, but that needs to make a little big change out there to get that. Holiday makes a triple rate, two runs with range, and it's a narrow assist as they are quite with the assists. When that play comes in there, it's not going to let that change. You know, they need to do some a little bit of changing key of motion. That's what he's trying to get there. He's doing it quickly and fast. Goes here to third, cuts him down for the two. Gets a rebound by Adelaide. And here's Heisman for the triple range. Makes it in. It's another three pointer. First one for the Miami Heat. Heisman's got his first three pointer of the night. Got to keep it in there. We got to get there. Butler takes a steal. Here comes Heisman. The drive. And misses on a layup. That would have been almost made the finish out there, but that didn't really change it over. But good thing he got shot that one coming. Jeff on the now finds Heisman. Smith gets it over now to Adebayo. Bad pass. This one gets it off to Porzingis and Derek Quake with the slam down. That one will be another takeover for the Celtics with another change off. And now, man, Adebayo will try to reach it. The get back, back to Terry Rogier. Smith in the corner. We're adding another three. This is Mr. in the corner of the range. Here's White. Now finds Porzingis. Porzingis hurt cut. Looking above, makes a drive. And the first time it will fall by Miami Heat. Down to three minutes remaining in their first. Well, you're not going to get this one to happen because they are really are expecting to play that one differently. You need to do something else there to make a little change up side. And you know how it happened here. Ever since they played in the year since 2020, and this one was the last one of it in the pandemic year that they had played for. You know how they really did? Because of that, how it happened, they've been really like trying to keep that Eastern Conference showdown alive. They were really have shown how having a little bit about on the inspection in the game. Yes, I always know that, but they've been really trying to like step it up into this game. And they, you know, for some of the reason I was really just trying to let somebody try to get into a hustle. Because most of them are really are trying to like let them do on their own. But the better thing is they really are trying to like pick it up at all. The better way of this is I really love to see what they're doing here with the better pick and roll moment. And just as because they were really like keeping a, keeping a good strength out of them, uh, there might be what they are, are keeping it in here. But as you may already know, I mean, it's just going to be taking on an easier way to get this one a little straight off. And probably of that occasionally, I think they're going to get that one really well. Probably it's a great setup and you got to take it over, but it's hard enough to just swallow it. I mean, you just can't let them play it in between. I'm very all. It just not all that happens, but you gotta take all when you can take a chance. Just happens now, Miami Heat, Celtics, can be a little different. <laughs> for the new substitution on the court, we have a look at the status for Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown's doing really well for the season. I say that the last four games was really like to be a turnout to be better than that. So I'm hoping there's another change. So that's gonna be another takeover that we can get. With an overtime on ball, they will have to switch it up and then try to make a new adjustment. Now they're up and red. And as a look for the Terra White, for this season, have gone big. Just have to believe it right now. When you all do for for Jay Derek White, that's what he has been really like playing at on his better range than ever. It's just really what they are keeping it in there to get going. After Hawkins Jr. with the bucket, here's Hauser, finding Butcher for an outside. This again to Horford. 
Four foot right, to the right wing. In the middle, covering on Highsmith with a shot. That's off the mark, and it's rebounded by Highsmith. That's his first rebound of the night. He has it over to get a Hawkins. Hawkins for two, and he's fouled. That's on Sam Hauser with his first personal and a first team foul for Boston Celtics. You don't play that bad because of Hauser. You just made that one a little bit of a mistake. Hawkins Jr. is going to get the free throw line. He shoot for two. Yeah, it's just not where they're starting things up for a bit. I just really have nothing to say about Hawkins Jr., but that needs to be like a little, a little step over in the range. But um, since I mentioned it here before, I mean, I think that Jimmy Hawkins Jr. might be able to take that one in there. Hawkins Jr. makes the first free throw. You know, better play that one in there. I say that Jimmy Hawkins Jr., he's definitely waking. He's a lot of his great static. He's a Mexican American player of this, of this, um, the Athletic Association, after playing it for any basketball in the college of this game in UCLA. And this one was voted by Pac-12 Player of the Year as a senior last year in 2023. It was great enough to have that for Hawkins Shannon. He has been playing it for, I guess, a dominant professional athlete, playing it on his own life. Playing with the, with the UCLA team, I always give him a great credit to that. The screen. Here's the take and a reach and foul on Yovic. That will be his first personal and his second team foul for Miami. Be careful when you reach it. You don't want to take the offer of that. And when you play for it, you just got to watch that one out with that reach call. That's going to take over with the defensive effort. And Pritchard right to the right wing. For the three. Finally for the second bat, no good. Hawkins Jr. with his first rebound. Down to two minutes remaining in the first. Right back to Marquez. Give again to Robinson. Robinson gives it over down to Marquez Jr. To Jovic. Right over on to Senior. And it goes in. Jovic with his first bucket. And it is Marquez Jr. with these hits. Play that with effort out there. That's what Marquez Jr. is really trying to like get right from here. I was really noticing that is like a little change over to get that in there. Ball stolen by Duncan Robinson, and he's off to right. Right. Over now, with a shot, Highsmith makes it dry in reverse. He has five points in the game. You know you can definitely just try to like make the scoop and drive. I mean, that easier one is to take. I don't know what's going to keep you going down. I mean, that's kind of going to take a lot of muscle stats in between. Yeah, I know. I mean, I don't know what's going to keep it in there, but that's like, how do you, do you do this on your own? The rebound book in for right. Bright's got his first rebound of the night. Now to take over again to Highsmith. Highsmith back steps it again, finding the long right with under a minute to go in the first. Now he passes to Robinson. Give it again to Hawkins Jr. The pass over, finding Highsmith. Highsmith with a back step for two. That one will not fall in as this one will be Horford with back the airway to Pauzer. Here's another one to right. White back to Pauzer. Horford on Highsmith. 30 seconds left in the first. The three for Pritchard. That one will not sink in the triple. As Highsmith goes again on Jamie Hawkins Jr. The give over to DeLon Wright. Wright tries to give over to Hawkins Jr. He now finds it to Robinson. From outside. Looks like Jovic wants some screen. With this, with the pick and drive look. In for two. And a settling down will be Tillman Sr. Back to White. A chance for the three. Deep three, and it's off the rim, and it goes right on the court. It's Miami 21 over the Celtics 11. A great start for the Heat on the pressure, but we'll get to the second quarter right after this break. You're watching the conference finals on 2K Sports. One half coming down to the end, but we've got the second quarter coming up. With a great statistics, it's 21 11. And have your take, you guys, at Miami Heat. Well, playing it for some real uh, dedication out there. I was seeing it before, and they were really uh, like onto our heavy breakdown in their defense. I mean, they're really uh, just like stepping it in there. I mean, I was really sure enough that Miami Heat must have been pressuring enough to go with the underdog team. You know, it definitely happens to them. You gotta make sure they have it in there. Boston starts their group. Jalen Brown with Drew Holiday, Tito with Al Horford, and Porzingis with Tony Sam. And for the Heat, we have Rochia with Kelly Martin. As he's checked in on the court, Tyler Hero on the airway. 
Bags, Jimmy Butler, and Bam on the bio in a center. After a bucket made by Terry Rozier, here's Brown. The screen for Russell. Here's the cut. Reporter for David Aldrich. Talked about his early life, about Jimmy Butler. Hasn't been played for his lot of this intense basketball that he has been ever doing. The accomplishment was all that more of what could be is putting a dedication in there. And he really wants it to turn out he wants to make a win to get through it. You know, every time that happens right now for Jimmy Butler, that has to be what they're doing. Because if he doesn't get that winning fruit, that's when he has his early life range. But his hard goal never keeps it going in there. But I have no other confidence of how he will do. Because that needs to be a play goal to get it in there. All that happens now is how he needs to do is to try. Tatum, 33. Petey Butler. And that one will be sinking the triple. 23 to 14 to score. Try to get her three pointer to get back in the game. Now the pass finds the Martin. Martin. Tries to go over again. Oshio gives it down to Adebayo. Looks down to Hiro. Hiro gives it now over now. Finding it again, Martin. Martin with a sub drive. And it's off the layup. Porzingis with the rebound. Now finding it again to Jason Tatum. Tatum. On Keller Martin. The step back. Number three. That one makes it in for another sinking triple. Coming back down that fast already, it's a 23-17 day. Oh, I don't know what's going to keep on happening right now. I mean, and they got to start thinking about it now. He's probably right toward the wing. Trying to watch out for the traffic. Out of here, now finds it again, Rogier. The pass over to Martin. The deep little three. Offensive on a rebound will not take it. And Holiday with the rebound back there away. And here's another chance effort. Slides it back. Drew Holiday. Step back. Looks to Booker. Martin around him. The fade. Looks it up out to Brown. And a free seconds called on Al Booker. That turns it over to Miami Ball. Well, you can't do that. You're not going to be staying on the, the point to paint that long. If you try to, like, get right into an open look, I mean, you're going to get turned over at that point. Here's Martin right to the wing. The pressure now finds it again to Rochio. Now he looks to the Jimmy Butler. Again to Rogier and Butler. Around Tatum. Oh! What a jam! And Butler has shown the crowd off that game. Nothing you say matters now. Jimmy Butler is like a star victim. Ever played that before? I mean, you got to give a good look at him. Got an attacker right around Tatum and said, like, I'm going this way. That's like, how can you do that? The screen for Horford, watching the play, and a drive, and he's fine. That is Tyler Hero with his first personal. 13 foul for Miami. Under five minutes in the first half, it is now a Jalen Brown at the free throw line shooting two. You don't take the carry on to get without a shot, and that driving is going to take too much time effort, and you don't want to take over into it. Because if you play it like that, it's not going to happen like this. Next free throw coming up for Boston Celtics with over five minutes to go in a second. If you enjoy the finals, we really appreciate you all your support. And this has been a great night for the Boston Celtics to keep an eye on that one. They have been working it up and looks like they are just clutching it. I think they're going to win 18 in a row. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, there's no other competition here in between Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. But I would say that they played great. Richardson checked in for Tyler Bureau. It's the second free throw. You know the way I really wanted to say? I'm going to say this one for you. How are you going to do better at it? Because if you don't play it like that, I mean, that's what my Mavericks are wanting to do. I think you're going to be moving into game six, so I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be a lot of changing in there. It's not going to take a lot of perspective to it. I don't know, but you're going to say it is? No, that's a next, now or never, but I don't think about you. Oh, really? I wouldn't say if I were you there, Boomer. <laughs> well, I think again. Brown, the drop, misses. Richardson has his first rebound of the night with under 4 3 to go. And Calabari in the corner for three. Got it! Right toward in the slaughter near the baseline. It's a 28 to 18 run. Look at the hustle when you give it over again to Calabari. That's when he was maybe able to get this one and drive it in. I was really sure enough he would pick that one in there. 
He's from Sheer, the pass to Butler, and an offensive foul calls on Butler, and that turns it over to Boston Ball. And Butcher will be checking in for Drew Holiday. Not the way you're playing it like that. You don't want to knock that mess over, and you're going to get that one grabbed up. You're going to get, get this thing caught, and you're going to get bumped up. If that happens right now, you're going to change that one over and then try to move down. Don't take the effort if you can. Tatum, another three-pointer, drops in. Now they're down by seven. The quick drop, it's never going to happen like that. So we need to do something a little bit more quicker soon. The pass, back to Rozier. Give it over again to Adebayo. And Bridges in right toward the outside of it. Looks it over. He was right with the same for Mark. Off the two-point range, it is Butler trying to get Taysom, Jason Tatum on him. And here's a pass. Brown! What a dunk! Timeout releases on Miami Heat with 3.28 to go in the second. Well, let's see if they're going to talk it over now. I mean, I don't know what they're doing, but they are just trying to, like, let them be out there. We're doing down the end of the first half, so as we're getting closer right now, we've got an extra one that's coming up here. On the halftime show, I got Ernie Johnson with Kenny Chuck Smith and Shag O'Neill that will be happening here for the first half of the game. As for the halftime show, it's coming up right after this first half completion, and we will get right to you soon on the other side of it as they can. And as of right at the moment, if you enjoyed this game, you might like one of the others. And because at this point, if you really love the birthday one here for Set of Beasts as he's finally turning 22, give him a good thought. Give him another takeover here for our next video to give him a great, great selection. So you can definitely take a look at the super cuts of the Inanimate Insanity Invitational, and definitely everybody will be loving it. Changes for the Miami Heat and the Celtics. Hockey shooters check back on the court. And a look at the status in between here for the opponent points. For this season, they are in third place. But the Celtics, they're in fifth place. It's definitely what everyone happens to be. I know it's just not what they were doing this to be before, but I will be saying that they were playing like everybody, like they all did. Robinson on Derek White. And a pass. The butler for three. Come on! For the range outside, it is now an extension 31 to 23. He has none. No question out there. Jimmy Butler, he's like on the stop. White, Richard for three. The answer back the airway. This one keeps on coming down. 31 26 is the score, and Butler will have it. He now finds it again. And this one, another offensive foul. That turns it over to Boston Ball. You see what happens now, because they don't get a good picks out there. They're really changing it over. They want to just try to stop him, but that head coach is being disappointed right now. He's not really happy at all. That's going to change things over into his life, and that's not going to like change the ability to get over this. That's going to change it up, and then nobody's going like that. Ball's loose. He went out of bounds. That turns over to a deep ball. 235 left to go in the second of the first half. It's a still 31-26 game. Butler making his way down. And he's over now to Jovic. Give back to Richardson. Richardson decided to give it a little bit of a changeover. And Akaz for the three. Off the rim. And it's Richard with the rebound. Oh, here comes Satan. What a nice cut. He takes it in. It's now 31 28 game. They are down by four. Keeping that alive out there. I mean, they really are just getting it over and all the big use of it. They've got to try to make a way to get over it. Richardson with a try. Got it in. That's another two player for the score on Miami Heat. Richardson with his first bucket. It's a 33 28 game. Derek White. Sliding it across, moving it back to Hauser and Tina. The more seat the Tillman Senior and a three. Never missed by the Boston Celtics. Down to a 90 second mark in the first half, as now he has Richardson. Able to give up to Butler for a number three. Come on, that's two in a row. One excellent start for Jimmy Butler. Oh, you always gonna say that? Bring it up for Jimmy Butler. I mean, I have no other confidence what they're doing. He's like 
putting a star to start things off. And he's been really wanting to do this for a long time. I mean, I don't know what he's doing, but that's what Butler's doing. He got in there. I mean, he's been like a fence. Back over again to Robinson with under a minute to go. And over to Hawkins for the three. That's off the rim, and it's back to Pritchard with the rebound. And Derek White decided to finish it up. Layup, too strong. Robinson with the second rebound. Now finds Hawkins. I wonder how it's over to Jovich, and he makes the drive in. After Hawkins shooting with the assist, Jovich got a second bucket. Celtics trail by 10. Richard, playing the pass. Tillman Sr. goes one and dunk down. And it goes right over again to make the great butcher driving in for the six. Now, I don't know what's going to keep on happening now. I mean, that's what they've always been doing is but they, they've got to play it like they did. Watching the time go down as Butler now gets over to Jovic from over again. The fade looks to Robinson for the three. Triple arc, no good. And this will be the end of the first half. Pritchard, the Bussy Arc. Oh, and he made it this time. It is a 38-33 game. Not my watch. Derek White with the three-quarter. That's incredible. And that's definitely what they all say. Just can't leave the mark out of it. The chance now to go over to David Aldridge. He's on court side, David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? Much different. I think on the floor, I'm supposed to do a lot more of what is it for. And uh, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. Well, it is a unique style. Jimmy, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And thanks for tuning us in for the first half. We'll get to the second half when we come back after the break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This home crowd is elated about what they've seen so far. I'm Ernie Johnson. That's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Kenny Smith. Big time play throughout the first half for Jimmy Butler. He had 12 points, two rebounds, and one assist. This has been a bounce-back game for him after some struggles there last time out. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Heat? The passing is what kept the offense rolling. The communication has been tremendous. Guys are working as a unit and not as a position. They've got to beat that kind of ball in the second half. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? Well, a lot of their points came in transition. They dictated the pace of the game. It was a fast pace. He fits back on his heel. I say keep attacking the second half. Do not slow down. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back as we're ready to start the third quarter of the second half in here at Kaseya Center in Miami. With the status of Jimmy Butler on fire already for the first half and started up 12 points and two rebounds and assists. You know, playing for playoffs, Jimmy Butler, I was always saying Jimmy Buckets. He's been really just picking up for a lot of a quicker way to make an easier change. That's the way that the difference is. I was really noticing how they could play it like that. But all you can definitely play it for is just how much you do. With the status for Miami, here is Tyler, Jerry Rogier with Tyler Bureau. Then on a bio right toward the center. Bias hit right toward in the corner for a point four. And it's Butler right toward in. And by on a bio in set. On the southern side of the Boston Celtics, it's Drew Holiday. He's along with KP and Jalen Brown with Derek White and Jason Tatum right toward the point four. Rogier on in. Brown for three. Not to our work as Bam on a fire with no rebound. The give over again to Hero. Here's Butler for another bucket. And missed again. Good chance effort, but couldn't make another bucket in. That's Holiday. Just give off to Brown. Sucks it over to KP. That's an error miss for KP. Bam on a bio. He's got six free men on the night as he gives off to Hero. Hero 
Right over again, Butler. For number two, Bucket. That's a number three. That's 15 points in the game. Back up by 10. Oh man, I don't know what he's doing right now. Jimmy Butler is early range. I, I just don't even believe how he could definitely hit. That is just no way. There is nothing I really have to tell him now. I mean, that is just unbelievable. And it's another win for Hero as he makes an R two point bucket in. Adebayo back again to Terry Rozier. 42 percentage for the field goals for our Celtics at 52, 54 for Miami Heat. Playing a little like a little charm out there, and I guess there might be a little bit of change in that. But they gotta start making some a little bit of change offs. If they don't do it well, then they gotta start looking for somebody else. The passer and Rozier trying to get over to Highsmith for the three. Under a miss by Miami. And Brown trying to handle it out. And an offensive foul! That turns it over to the Heat ball. And that changes over to the Miami ball. As the foul is called on Jalen Brown. And Al Horford will be checking in on the floor. You know, that's not going to change things up because that is going to turn anything to They're okay. really like playing already. You know what happens now? Jimmy Butler's scheme has just gotten a little bit ramped out, but that Boston Celtics. Now they do the same thing. They have a little bit of a problem when they're going for it. They gotta just try to figure something else out. Butler, oh man! He is on electric at the Kaseya Center. 18 points in the game. Now that's what I was saying. Jimmy Buckets, what professional do you have to play for? And now Holiday. As it is, claims it down. And this one will be a 46 37 game. Outscoring the Celtics bench by 8 with 5.08 to go. Now that's what I really have to tell them now. I don't know if you can keep on going it, but that's what they already did keep on going. That play ball is just undifferentable. Hero, pass again to Anabaya. Anabaya with a step back for the 2. That's a nervous by the Heat with under 5 minutes. Derek White finds it past the ground over to KP and he makes it up. That one just slams it in and it's back to over again to Jalen Brown. She has under five minutes left to go in the third. Now he finds a pass to Adebayo. Adebayo with a step up and what a finish he made. Adebayo with his second bucket. Under 4 to go in the third. They have no overconfidence. I just say that they have Adebayo he's like stepping it in there right now. When that better range is putting it in there, that pick is it really has to give it over quickly and maintain it. I don't know what's going to keep on happening right now, but they are literally just starting to beat out. I have no idea how it's going to happen. Here's an arrow take from Ramon Bio and Butler. The pass over. Here over two. That is the three pointer outside, and it's now back again to Holiday. The pass to White. Triple Art. Missed again. On the bio, we a rebound. And Rogier will have another chance. Four minutes to go. In the third. Butler right toward the left wing. He gives again to Rogier. Rogier tries to give off to Highspin. Highspin on the logo. That's another miss by Miami. They gotta need to do something else here. If they don't get a three-pointer, that's not such a problem to get over. Oh wow. I think Derek White's gonna be like crushing in it. Uh-oh. We gotta have to make a call back immediately. Timeout call by Miami with 3.28 to go in the throw. The NBA Easter Conference Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by Storylines. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by American Express. Don't live life without it. Now, as the name for the early life happened to be Jimmy Butler, despite all of his reservations for relationship, as his father was abandoned for the family, Butler was an infant. By that time, he was 14 years old and living in Houston suburb of Tomball. His mother got kicked him out of the house, but this one was happened to be an interview for Butler that happened to told him, I don't like the look of you, and you've got to go. 
the man he went bounced over. But his parents saying, and quote, I don't hold grudges. I still talk to my family, my mom, my father. We love each other. That's never going to change in every year. You know, it happens with their, all of the relationships. You've got to give a chance effort. I mean, you really have to be out there for one time. And you may never believe where they can get there. Status for Drew Holiday, he's in first place. It's going to happen to be a lot of change up, but he's got to like have to get over this in there. And with the regressions of how that Jimmy Butler was changing it, but the better life of this, he was definitely not able to know how he's going to handle it at all. Well, he misses his daughter so much of it right now, and he's definitely got missed in that when he passed him a long time, like a year ago. And they were really expecting it, that he really wants to enjoy it somehow. And for everybody's family, you know, really are those in the Butler's in the group. They really are expecting it to really make a change, but I really like that Jim Butler's been playing it really well. And just how much as you can imagine. Here's Robinson for the finish, and he's stopped. That's Drew Holiday with his first personal. And for the last 30 days for Jalen Brown, most of them have to be able to make that world fucking rage. He has done for a better taste for game one and two. Duncan Robinson at the free throw line, shooting two. That's a free throw down. Now, I always could say right now this this is really what the change is. Now, both players have gone with Celtics are checked off the court and now checked on the court as Hauser and Tillman Senior are checked in. As you already know it right now, but because that Butler has been believing it. He's been definitely been staying at Leslie's house, and although he had six other children with a mother and a stepfather, was reluctant at first. It took him within a few months, and it's what happens. That was a she, and it was just very loving. She didn't think that the stuff that she liked that, but that one was happening to be before me, that she really had changed. And this is what they were all expecting right now, Dean said she wanted to do anything that she's got to go with. I still have a lot of opinions for Dean Butler, but that's what I always really figured it down. When they really have to be playing out there, I mean, he's got to do it for a right living. The shot for Richard, that's a no good take. And Hawkins shooting for the rebound, finding over his second rebound. Babe Richard only hits three. He's a little bit scoring under topic. Well, it's just not telling what they were expecting right now. And they probably got to try to let somebody else get into it. No, it never takes you that. That's not going to change it with their ability to pass. So I'm taking down. And Hawkins shooting here. The limbers are number two. He has his third bucket. Down to two minutes in the third. The pass to Horford, and it's a layup ruling for Al Horford. And this one rolls back to 52 43 game. The long right back again at Callum Barton. Now he finds the pass to Adebayo. Adebayo gets it now back to right. Right, looking his way in, the Hawkins Jr. The pass over, the three for Callum Barton, and good! Three punches it down for Callum Martin. He has six points. Just gotta believe that. I was really noticing that Callum Martin was really like keeping it in here. All you could say now, or you take the foul. Hold this on to Callum Martin as a scores personal. No team foul for Miami. With 117 to go in the third. And it's not playing really well. You don't have a lot of the strength out there. You don't want to take over this if you got there. Makes the free throw. Not a new changeup coming in for Jason Tatum as he's checked back on the court for Sam Hauser. And for Butler, he's been saying, they accepted me into their family. And it wasn't because of basketball. She, as it was Michelle and Leslie's mother, was just very loving. And she just did stuff like that, that I couldn't believe what they did. You know, every time that happens right now, I mean, they're really having a little bit of loving and remembering what the send off is. I mean, they just really have to let them go in there. His parents can't usually afford it because that one is not going to turn out to anybody. 
but they really don't want this one to happen. Next time. They really have no other choice to get over it, and I got a feeling that they got to play it like that. Robinson for three! He missed on a three-point effort. Here's Holiday, and he's all alone! Make that jump dunk in, and it's Jason Tatum with the six. Just under a minute of the remaining in the third. Oh man, I don't know what's gonna keep on coming down. I mean, they're, they're gonna need to find somebody else to get right through it. And we don't want that to happen. Uh, they gotta start looking for some more room and they, they gotta start making uh, better plays. Hawkins Jr., Bates, and he's Calabarca. Team three got off the target. And it's back again to Jason Tatum. Tatum for three. Up and an air miss by Jason Tatum. Calabarca finds it over again to Jovic. Losing the ball. And he will have to get a jump ball in between Tillman Senior and Jovic. They are all way to get it through it. I don't know it's going to keep on going it, but I guess it might be a winner. That's a win, and Holiday will have a steal. A chance to cut back down with a digit. Misses. And down to 10 seconds. Robinson finds Martin. Martin. And for a Robinson three, and it's off the rim. And it's the third quarter. 55 47 to score. Miami Heat trying to prevail to get on the board. Hopefully, there might be a change off if they can. Well, let's hope there is. If that changes over everything, I'm not going to that out bad. Well, hopefully, we'll see. Coming up will be the fourth quarter right after this. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right with you soon. And a huddle for Eric Spolstra. And obviously, I always say that Eric Spolstra has been keeping an eye on Mike Lee Good. Like, he's been really professional in the United the head coach here for Miami Heat. He's been really like all of his best of his best. You know, a favorite doesn't happen to be anybody. And I was really noticing when Eric Spolstra. He did a good command here with their teammates, and they were really like playing it really well. I mean, they've got to make that one feel great. With the last group of change, Holiday is with Derek White. Brown is with Jason Tia. And Chris Aquarius is in center. On for the key, Marcus Sheenan with Tyler Hero. And Stuckey Robinson right towards the ever wing. Jimmy Butler with another take. And it's Bam on the bike. And it's Terry Wooshin in the third. In towards the point guard position. After a bucket for Hawkins Jr., he's in her take for Brown. Jason Tatum in the corner look, got it! That's a number three, they're back down by seven. Great pass by Jalen Brown, they are just coming back in. Oh boy, I don't know what's going to happen right now. I mean, I don't see the way that they're messing it up with anybody. I mean, they are really a hockey player. The screen for Hawkins. Now he finds it, going for three! Triple range, no good. Brown with the rebound. Just best a minute so far. And White got it. They are rolling back down by five. No answer back, and there is no stopping. That's really puts Derek White with the great running setups. We're going to get it going. Waller finds Rogia. Rogia will now try to switch it over. Down to 10 to shoot. And Butler for two. Makes it in. That's 20 points for Jimmy Butler. They're back up by seven. And here's Holiday. Has it over cutting him out to make the drive on a shot. And that's fouled on Terry Rogier with 6 on 5 to go in the fourth. They're not playing it really well. I mean, I don't know what's going to keep it on there going down. I mean, they're going to get caught with coming down. Drew Holiday at the free throw line shooting two. That's right at the moment, this will be another free throw coming up to Boston Celtics. It's the first free throw. His personal life happens to be one of them, and they are really expecting to play it like that. After a substitution for Hawkins and Robinson, Butler moves over to small forward as for back to a starting five group. It has happened to be the oldest brother to happen to be with Justin, and this is his name is Drew. 
And I really liked the name because Drew wanted to figure out how to keep it with the J theme. Well, after that, we threw that kingdom kind of ended because that sister is Lauren and the brother is Aaron. They were all over the names, but they really love to call him Drew. Hey, it's just what happens now. Like, when you, when you will call that when you're called him Drew, that doesn't mean like his name is Drew. Like, I'm the true woman. You don't say it like this. I always got a great feeling right now. I mean, that's when they all really have to believe it. Oh, stolen by the Giddy! Oh, and it went out of bounds. Boston that changes ball. over to Boston Ball. What a great shot, diving chance, but no recover here. Yeah, I think that was almost going to change that one in there. That was a great able to take it in there. I mean, I don't know what's going to go on, but I just really can't believe it. That diving play just turned it over. Wow. Can you just feel like that this one is already, already like chasing the ball right after you? You would never believe it. Tatum back to Holiday. 535 left to go in the fourth. The screen. Puts it up. In the middle. Try! Good! And they're back down by three. Trying to look for another bucket in to tie it up. Looks it again to Hero. Hero gives again to Highsmith. Over now to Hero. And looking for a screen for Highsmith. Oh, and the cut. So Highsmith is stolen by Tato. Here's White. Got to take a close effort right now. White. With a shot. Misses again. Great D for Miami. On a bio trying to roll it in. Around the back. And a shot. And he's fouled. Jason Tatum with a foul. Under five minutes in the fourth. Try to add a number two point to extend that lead up. They're all already getting any everywhere to be going and leaving behind in. But that's just some unbelievable call that they're getting over. The free throw coming up for Bam out of Ohio. Because right now we have under five minutes to go in the fourth. He is, he's missed the first free throw. Just didn't happen what they were expecting now for him on a bio, but that really need to make a change off of everything. Well, it's just what they all do. I mean, I always say Bam on a bio he must have had that one with a great bam rejection. And just because they don't really play it like that, I mean they don't get a lot that much done. They need to make sure they have that one there coming in. Good for the second free throw. The Celtics are trailing by four. Here's Brown. With the ball almost loose. Here's a Brown. That shot misses it up wide. Out of there now finds Butler. Butler gets the end of Rozier. Now finds Ben on a bio. For the deep three, chance effort. Not able to make the three pointer. It's a little too strong right now. Can I take it over to the center? And White, watching from outside, back to Tina. And a screen. Here's a take for Tina. Great. Horse Hippie, the three. No tie enough to make the first game. Back to Rochia. And it's back to Hayward Eismith. And Butler right toward the way. Eismith give it over a screen. The pass over to Eismith on the drive. And he makes it back in one. He has been rolling on. Now it's back up by six. They just gonna let that one keep in. I was saying Eismith, he just made a great bucket to give in it. Seventeen ball. Now the line. And he sinks down a free throw. Here's Holiday with only four minutes to go. 
Got a pass to Tina. Tina up. Got it again. That's a little two pointer for Jason Tina. Drew Holiday. After Drew Holiday with the assist, he now has it again to Hero. Hero gives it over again to Butler. Butler with the sidestep and goes in. Oh man, how can Butler keep on going? He's got 22 points and Hero with the assist. Not just anybody who's been really keeping an eye on. I was really noticing that just made a great stoppage of that out of the play. We really are like all over the map. I was really noticing that he has been keeping an end on like he did. Not a pass over the third year. Here's it again, Butler. Just out of the final three minutes of the regulation period of the quarter. Gives over to Bam. Out of Iowa with a sidestep. And goes in. Out of Iowa with seven points. Going with the comparison in between a quick time for Zingas and Bam Adebayo. Got a little bit of a tight game. Spin the move. Up and layup. Nice save game with the finish for Jason Tatum. He's making this one another bucket score to give it in. Keep it along the range out there with Jason Tatum. That's going to be a lot of the hard runs to take in. Now he misses again. Jason Tatum now finds Brock. Brock with his pick. With a shot. Misses and takes a rebound dunk. That one will keep it in here alive. They are back down by five. Timeout by, by the call of Miami with 2.21 to go. It just keeps on climbing down. I mean, this is like a tight Eastern Conference showdown. They're going to keep on going. Well, I guess there might be a changeover again. I mean, you're going to really leave it. You got it. You got to just enjoy it while you can. The next one is calling in, the timeout will be called in, and we'll get right back to you soon, nearing the end of the regulation of the third game. Hey folks, if you want to gain the game, it's right now the, the casting of this vote here will be on its way at its new level, as will be appearances for the WNBA. That's right. That will be the other side of it to have a great look of visit and appearances. That first game will be happening here on August 17th. That will be the first part of its game that's happening here for the first look of the new season of the WNBA. All games are here only on Sun and Beats to start things up for a premiering of the season. And now it's time to present your New Balance Player of the Game. For game three goes to Jimmy Button. And always say to know about Jimmy Butler, he's been really like all time a favorite. And they really have been noticing what they can get that go. You know, how that happened is what they really have been going for. Play it really well, gotta give it all. I just have a little bit of a back, matter of fact prediction. I always said that Jimmy Butler's been doing great. I think he might be going for the next one. Not even for our playoff the whole season, he might be looking for his way. He could be keeping an eye on it if he will be able to do it for another whoever book at the bay. And a pretty silent word here all the just to say about all for Terry Rozier the third word. He has been really like taking it over and ever since then he has really been doing one of the better takes. I was really noticing that you've been I was playing it for so long. But not until after this one is really not gonna take all of them to keep it in there. They leave it at off here with a better timing in the effort. And I have no other takes on what's going to happen because that has to be a lot of hard ways to stop in. This way has no confidence in what the feeling is. They really get to go. I'll uh, listen to the crowd now. Jason Tatum is having a three pointer out there. I don't know who's going to go for it. Tell her you will. He's again to high spin. Trying to get the winner now again. It's still like almost tipped it. Baller for two. Got it. Two. Number two for Jimmy Butler. 24 points of the game. Here's Jason Tatum. The three for Brown. Got it from the airway. Yeah, just rolling back down by four. Well, you just hearing it now. I mean, they're really are always going to be stepping it over here. Just like firing out. On a fire with the finish. Makes a try. On the way this nine points of the game. Just nearing down the final minute in the fourth. Tatum over high spin and it's good. Jason Tatum not going anywhere. We are down to a final minute in the fourth. Bouchier trying to get rid of again a high spin. 
looking over again, trying to reveal the run. The bounce pass to Bam Adebayo. Adebayo, watching it. Rozier, time running down, and got it! Makes the shot, and the pass beat out of the shot clock. Well, he's just had no time to waste that one anyway. But that is a patient out there. I mean, I don't know what's going to keep on coming in. But now they're looking it up again. They just made it again. What a shot for Terry Rogier. Second to last time for Miami Heat and Boston. Right out of the moment with 42 seconds as we have tomorrow night's game that will be happening with the game at 8.30 p.m. That will be the Mavericks at home facing against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now we on the other side and keep your eyes peeled again. With a great look at this stat. And for the next couple of games on the other side of it will be game four, the rematch between the Heat and the Celtics. 8.30 is the same time that we'll be comforting here for it. Now as we change to 8 o'clock p.m. As this will now be a change over to try to see what this figures in for both teams. And for 8 o'clock game, on the same thing going with the Mavericks and the Timberwolves. Now we other games here only on center beats. For game four, and with necessary to get right into the next game before the final start on June 26th, that'll be all the games here to keep your eyes peeled on the next up. All games here to keep your eyes on. <laughs> Down to 40 seconds in that regulation. The pass off to Brown. Derek White, fighting Tatum, the spin, rolling up, goes in. That's another two-pointer for Boston Celtics. And right now, as Rozier will now try to spoof things out of it with 30 seconds left. Back again to Highsmith. Highsmith tries to roll over to Rozier. Rozier trying to give over a passing angle. Here's the cut. Going up in the shot, and it's gone! Hey, what nice man! Playing a light go on fight at Casillas. Just happens now for that Casillas center. He's just putting up for Hayward Iceman. He's just been really like lopping it out. I was really sure that he would be able to get there. And hey, it's just fair way of raising that. I mean, you really got to be out there for your own life. Final timeout for Boston Celtics with 14.5 to go in the fourth. With no timeouts left for Boston, we only have one timeout for Miami. Here's Brown, finding again, K number three. That misses, last chance for the Celtics. Did three, misses, and that will end game three. Key on the board. 77 to 72 is your final score. Hey, Miami. What an excellent game this is. They're already just putting in with a great matchup, and I really know that this was excellent. Plays the number before, Jimmy Butler, the star. And now we send you over to the court side as David Aldridge is standing by for the New Balance player of the game. David, who do you have? Thanks very much, Tyler. They're a good road team, but you guys got a good win at home and took care of business on the home floor. Yeah, we had to be like that. We know how good they are. Uh, they come in every time we play them with a lot of energy, a lot of focus. So coming in here, we got to get stops. We know how tough they are. Uh, make a couple of shots. I'll get out of here with a W. Hard fought, but well earned. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, DA, thank you so much. And now that wraps it up, folks, with me, Pete Bowen, along with Tyler and Puma. This has been a presentation of the conference finals on 2K Sports. We'll see you later, everyone. Have a great night in Miami. All right, guys, thank you so much. And this was a great game that happens to be with anybody who has accomplishment and this Miami Heat. They are on the board now. It is always a great day, and I have some great things to tell you now, but that is just how you can play it like you're imagining it to get right through it. And here's how you give it the total statistics. 54 field goals for the, for the Miami Heat, and a three-pointer was 36 for Boston Celtics. They only got a couple free throws missed. It was only 86 percentage for their teams in between. Fast break points was 19 for Boston Celtics. 
and it turned to be for 36 points in the paint for Miami Heat and Boston Celtics. Both teams are still even up with three second chance points for Miami Heat. And it was 22 for a bench points. And then happened to be with 29 assists from Miami Heat. Five offensive rebounds for the Boston Celtics. And then the defensive rebounds was 28 for Miami. Then it was happened to be five steals for the Heat. No blocks was made, so there was no clean on the offense. This one doesn't work like that. With six six uh, turnovers with nine points off for Miami. Then it was 14 fouls for Boston Celtics. And then with eight dunks were formed. 12 was the biggest lead for Miami, and 1801 with the time of possession. Now it's time to send you over to Ultra Crew to ultimate of the matchup, as controlling it over for the top three as they send it over to Roy Cruz. You're up. All right, thank you so much. This one is all coming in down right toward the end of the wire, as I start off with the third star of a player of the game, as this one is going right in. Drew Holiday with 12 points with two rebounds and three five assists with two steals. Five out of ten field goals with only just zero make of the three-pointers with only one. And it was two dunks and 23 performance ever was a great way to have it all down. And now for the next star. As I give it over now to get back the other way is Jason Tatum with 25 points with seven rebounds and three assists, one steal, seven, ten out of seventeen field goals made. Five out of eleven field three-pointers was turning to be excellent. 32 performance effort, that was excellent that he has been doing. But that step back in mind, that's going to be at the foot problem if he can get there through. Now, for the number one star player of the game, this one goes up with the New Balance player of the game, and this one has to say hello to one of them. Well, you now know? Well, here you go. That's because it's Jimmy Butler with 24 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals. Only had 10 11 field goals, so it's only just a great way to have it in there for the 4 out of 5 three pointers. And it was happened to be the 28 performance effort, and one dunk was remained. I would excellent make, and this was just all that happened now. I was really sure enough they were going to keep that one in there coming down. But I'll see you all again on the other side of it pretty soon. Alright, thank you guys so much, uh, Terry, uh, and sorry, Roy Cruz. As this one has turned to be the great successful end for Miami, and they will have to take a take a long nap, long rest, and then get ready for the next game in Game Four. I was really hoping that they would play it like that because if they don't do, then you know, then this could be definitely a little bit of a harsh way to get this right in there. And with that being said, I hope that everybody's enjoying your day. We'll see you all again for the Western Conference on the other side to keep your eyes peeled. And that's going to do for things here. Before we cruise out of here with Son of Beast, I hope we'll see you all again here next time. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports. Thanking you for watching, and so long in Miami, Florida. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.